गुड मॉर्निंग वन एंड ऑल माई सेल्फ बवानी फ्रॉम सिविल डिपार्टमेंट टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू ऑन द टॉपिक ऑफ वॉट आर द मेन कॉजेस एंड इफेक्ट ऑफ ड्रॉट्स हियर एंड इन द लास्ट क्लास आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू वॉट इज मैन बाई ड्रॉट एंड वॉट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ ड्रॉट्स वी आर हैविंग एंड हियर ड्रॉट्स आर नथिंग बट द प्रोलॉन्ग्ड पीरियड ऑफ दिस लो प्रिस्पिटेशन ओके दैट विल लीड टू द शॉर्टेज ऑफ वॉटर दट इज कॉल्ड एज द ड्रॉट मेनली what are the main causes of this uh, droughts or first one that is um, natural climate variability and in this natural climate um, variability uh, we have uh, two types of um, this one that is uh, el nino and la nina and uh, what is meant by this el nino and la nina means it is nothing but the climatic phenomena that is uh, significantly impact the weather conditions and uh, in this weather conditions il nuna is nothing but the it will bring the warmer and drier conditions to some region okay and la nina nothing but cooler and wetter conditions means because of this uh, el nuna and la nina uh, climatic phenomenon or uh, we can uh, easily uh, go through this droughts here means uh, that will be the one of the main causes of this um, Uh, droughts here and why because el nino will give the wetter conditions and la nina will give the uh, cooler and wetter condition it will uh, el nino can be some sometimes um, it is nothing but warm and dry conditions it may give la nina is quite opposite means it will give the very wet conditions el nino is nothing but dry conditions okay by uh, by these uh, two conditions there will they will give rise to the causes of the uh, that will give rise to the droughts here and next one is natural climate cycles and because of the long term um, means uh, if uh, for the long term cycles such as um, some um, atlantic multi decadal oscillation it can also influence the climatic conditions why because in so in some of the region because of this oscillation there will be no precipitation can be occurred that is also one of the cause of this droughts here and next one is geo geographical factors and in this geographical factors what is the main topography of this one or mountains mainly mount in uh, some of the areas mountains can be happen and in that mountain regions it can block the moisture winds okay means if this is your mountain means from here means uh, overall um, this one or the trees means what will happen from these trees we will be getting the very moist air moist wind also we are going to get if this winds are from the trees we are going to get the winds if this winds are going towards the top of the mountain means up to here that cold um that cool winds can be happen but at some altitude they are not going to get you um, are not going to get the cool climate after it is going to be reduced means in this one in this leeward side what will happen there is no um wet conditions means um, very cool air we can't get here we are going to get the dry air why because when it goes towards the top of the mountain means when it is falling from that one means that cannot be having the wet conditions means uh, that wet conditions nothing but um, that winds that can cause the precipitation here okay that is nothing but the leeward side means some of the uh, mountains they will just block this um, moisture winds and that will give rise to the conditions towards the leeward side means falling towards the downside at that time this um, uh, wet condition is going to be changes towards the dry condition and what is the main proximity to oceans means in some of the areas means uh, very far from this um, oceans or some lakes or some of the other bodies this may be having the um, very less amount of precipitation why because um in some of the oceans they cannot give the means uh, obviously this ocean water or some other water bodies water only 
cloud is going to be collected that water and that cloud is going to be traveled towards some area at that area cloud will release that water okay that is called as the precipitation we can say but in some of the areas by taking the water from the oceans or large water bodies also we may be getting the very less precipitation here okay and next one is um, atmospheric condition and in this atmospheric conditions there will be high pressure systems means because of the high pressure systems um, means um, um some of the wind patterns can be um, means um, that can lead to the stable and dry conditions just now i told you in some of the mountains they will just restrict to the um means a cool breeze to not enter towards the other side so likewise here also due to the high temp high pressure systems there will be uh, stable and also the dry conditions there okay and next one is wind patterns in this wind patterns due to the change in the wind patterns that can overall disrupt the normal moisture distribution here means if the if then some areas we can take some mumbai in mumbai we are having so many beaches and um, and in uh, visakhapatnam there is also uh, two to three beaches means in these areas what will happen means um, some will be some may be having the um, some uh, normal amount of precipitation there why because um, that states or uh, their uh, overall uh, capital cities are nearer by this beaches only so what will happen there will be normal precipitation will be there but some cities can be uh, situated very far away from this water bodies mean what will happen due to this atmospheric conditions also there will be very less precipitation towards that uh, states also okay and there will be uh, changing of the wind pattern can also disturb this moisture distribution okay due to this moisture conditions whether it may be high pressure or whether it may be disturbances in the wind patterns also that can cause the droughts here okay next one is human activities means due to the humans also this um due to human activities also this um uh, droughts can be happen means how it can be happen means um due to the land use changes means because of the deforestation and urbanization also there will be very much uh, change in the climatic condition that will give a rise to the reduction of this moisture levels and next one is water management water management is uh, nothing but the if you are going to extract so much amount of the ground water means there will be no uh, surface flow okay if the surface flow is very much uh, means uh, dried means that can also cause the drought conditions there and next one is climatic change means if uh, from the factories and from the industries carbon dioxide will going to be released into the atmosphere okay due to this climatic change also there will give rise towards the greenhouse gases and that greenhouse gases they will just contribute towards the global warming okay and obviously because of this global warming there will be changes in the precipitation content also okay and this one is the overall um, summary of this um, causes of the droughts why because if this uh, droughts are happening why this is happening means because of the dry conditions if in some area if the precipitation is normal means that land cannot be um, that land cannot be having this droughts so we have to be very careful to not uh, do the deforestation in that area means some will give rise to the urbanization because of this um, increase in the urbanization also we have to do this deforestation that will give rise to this droughts and uh, soil if the soil is moisture means we can eradicate this droughts there if the soil is uh, not moisture means that can give rise to this droughts also and uh, in some areas season to season rainfall can be vary why because in uh, previous season we are having somewhat less rainfall but uh, in this uh, year we are having so much of uh, rainfall because year to year the climatic conditions also going to be changed because of this 
greenhouse gas effect and whereas in uh, coming to the when um, we compared them previous 3 years also some areas may be having only less than uh, 3 inches per hour precipitation but in some areas there will be 15 inches of precipitations like um, in atlanta in atlanta their precipitation is uh, almost 50 inches means at some time what will happen there will be only 3 inches of um, precipitation in that area but uh, in some area it will be some 50 inches or maybe we can say in same area means precipitation will be somewhat 10 inches in the in the previous year and this year there will be 20 inches of rainfall there we can't predict uh, at um, what time this precipitation can be i uh, means um, this much of precipitation is going to be happened in the next year okay and in some particular area we will be having very less precipitation and so that there will be less moisture content also this is also one of the cause of the moisture and in this one if the soil without any moisture content to the soil obviously plants are going to be die so if you are going to give the so much of water to the soil also we can um, uh, means we can reduce this drought condition so we have to use the various type of water bodies like reservoirs wells and small ponds or uh, ponds like this so that we can store the water and we can use that type of water in the next season also okay and next one is effects of droughts and in this effects of droughts first one is environmental impact when these droughts are going to be happen what is the main impact on the environment is there is um, vegetation loss and in this vegetation loss there will be um, if the water is very much reduced means that will lead to the loss of crops and natural vegetation and that will uh, lead to the rising in the food uh, means food products also and next one is soil degradation if the soil is not having the sufficient moisture content that will give rise to the soil erosion and also there will be the loss of fertility of the term soil and deforest uh, desertification can be happened at that time and next is wildlife if the means uh, in forest wildlife can be there but in that forest also precipitation is very much less, less means that will be a uh, um, very much cost towards this wildlife because they also depend upon the food there okay if the food shortages will be there means there will be increase in the competition of the water here next one is economic impact and in this economic impact first one is agriculture means obviously rural people they will only depend upon the means uh, nowadays they will um, depend upon some businesses also but when some of the people they depend on this um, agriculture means if the crop fails because of this droughts means that will give rise to the high food prices here and there will be reduction of the livestock production and this lead to the economic loss for the state and also the country okay and next one is water supply and in this water supply due to this uh, droughts there will be very much um, strain for the water resources and uh, there will be increasing in the cost of the water okay when any disaster is going to be happen means water prices is also going to be increased it means we have to buy the water tankers at that time by all doing this one means obviously water cost will be very much high in the time of that disasters and next one is energy production and in this energy production low water levels this can happen the this can affect the hydro electrical power means water uh, from water only we will be generating the hydro electric power if the water is not there means obviously there will be no rise into the um, power plants and next is social impact and in this social impact health issues is first going to be happen means due to the shortage of water we are going to be having very poor sanitation and that will give rise to the different types of diseases there and some will get uh, malnutrition also and next one is migration means if the water sufficient water is not there from far away we have to take the water means 
obviously we have to migrate that uh, from that place to another place that is also one of the effect of this droughts here and conflicts means uh, due to the scarcity of the water there will be conflicts uh, over these uh, resources and uh, for the people also there will be so much uh, conflicts it can be both uh, locally and also the religiously and next one is infrastructure impact and the, due to this droughts there will be great impact of the dams and reservoir level because if the water level is uh, very much reduced means it can affect the uh, functionality and also safety of this water bodies and next one is recreational areas and in this recreational areas there will be loss of the tourism and the leisure activities and uh, due to this uh, reduction of the water levels there will be recreation areas like uh, lakes rivers also and uh, this is the overall summary of the effects of droughts here and uh, main effect of this droughts are we have means a recharge of the um, soil moisture and uh, there will be reduction in the surface runoff and there will be reduction in the groundwater table also and mainly droughts can uh, affect the agricultural fields mainly these are depend upon the monsoon rainfall only if this is not there means less precipitation happened in that area means there will be lack of irrigation facilities and did this results in the overall shortfall of this agricultural production for the coming years also and there will be so much economic loss for the country and also the state why because it will be associated with the famine which is um, which can be own because of this social and also economic consequences and these are the references books thank you everyone like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates